I'm quite excited about particle technology research. Specifically, um, previously when I did my PhD at Princeton University, my sixth topic was on instability of granular material flow. So I was studying the theoretical study on the, um, the particular nature of the, the granular flow. So after moving to Singapore, I started working on topic uh, related to some experimental verification of the theory. Then I also start developing some area in terms of the, uh, finding the translational application of particle technology. So let me just give some example. So I try to make use of the flow instability to create core and shear nanoparticle and the microparticle. Finally, I will be able to deliver the anti-cancer drug together with other uh, type of therapeutic agent to create a uh, um, imperial or in sequence release. And uh, um, so we have tried very much to uh, find a biomedical application to use in the treatment of the, treatment of the uh, brain tumor, for instance. Also, we try to use particle technology recently in recent years for energy application. For instance, we try to work on the gasification problem where we look for solutions to convert biomass into energy and a resource. So I find the topic are pretty exciting. Can I take the example for Singapore? Recently, I think the government has invested a um, um, huge amount of money to perform the uh, research on the topic of urban solution and the sustainability. So I think some of the uh, topic of interest is waste to energy. Basically, we want to convert the biomass into energy and resources. Specifically, uh, in this process, um, so, the, so the government tried to find solution for the mega city. So that uh, we propose some kind of solution that will be able to uh, help to reshape those uh, treatment process for the waste. And hopefully, through this kind of grant provided to the researcher, we will be able to perform research and finally the solution will benefit the society. So I think normally that's the strategy between the government, the, the university, and the potential industry, because in this kind of process, usually you need to engage industry as well. Please allow me to use Singapore as an example. We have quite challenging problem for water um, shortage problem. So therefore, I think one of the main uh, research area we have is for membrane science and technology. So I think quite a few uh, research we have in Singapore actually are geared toward this direction. And there were quite a few nice paper generated from Singapore. The other subject that of my interest will be the uh, nanotechnology and the bioengineering. For instance, um, the, um, the research work done by Professor Jack Ying at IBM Singapore actually provide quite a few exciting, impressive study using, the, for instance, the green tea as the carrier for, for, for drug. And they have shown some good promising effect in terms of the, the fighting with cancer. So I guess these are the two topics that I think uh, of some relevance to chemical engineering. Yes, I've noticed that in recent years, there are more emphasis on translational research, for instance, biotech and energy, also sustainability. So this is also reflected by the number of papers actually increased tremendously in these three category. So I think that's a clear trend that how the chemical engineering is going to refocus in the next uh, maybe five to 10 years.